Business Stat Chapter 13 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial Question 3 You are testing the null hypothesis that there is no linear relationship between two variables x and y. From your sample of n equals 11, you determine that r equals to 0 0.55, so r here is your sample correlations. And since we're testing if there is any relationship or not, so we're looking for equal to 0 or not equal to 0. So our null hypothesis is that phi equals to 0. Our alternate hypothesis is that phi does not equal to 0. So phi is the correlation of a population that we're testing for. To calculate t statistic, we're going to use the formula r minus phi divided by square root 1 minus r square over n minus 2, where the degree of freedom equals to n minus 2. And then we can substitute the numbers into the formula. So we have 0 0.55 minus 0 divided by square root 1 minus 0 0.55 square divided by 11 minus 2 so we have 0 0.55 divided by 0 0.278388 so our t statistics equals to 1.97566 in part b we're asked to find the critical value at the 5% significance level and we're going to find the t critical using excel to do that we're going to use the formula equal t dot imv bracket and then we're going to put 0 0.025, which is the alpha divided by 2, and then comma. And we're going to put 9, which is the degree of freedom. And if we plug that into the Excel, we're going to get t critical equals to negative 2.26216. So if we look at the diagram, our lower critical value is the negative 2.26216. And our upper critical value is the positive 2.26216. And our decision rule is that if the t statistic is between the two numbers, we do not reject h null, and if it is to the right of the positive 2.26, we reject h null, and if it is to the left of the negative 2.26, we also reject h null. And since the absolute value of the t statistic, which is 1.97, is less than the absolute value of t critical, which is 2.26, we do not reject h null.